It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Australia from Moondog Craft Brewery. And this is a can of their cake hole. It's a forest, black forest stout coming in at 6.5% ABV in a 330 milliliter can. Sent by the wonderful, wonderful Aussie Trav. Thank you very much, Trav, for the beer. And there's people there. Kind of look strangely like mice, but they got faces uh, with cake on it. I like the can art. I generally like Moondog. They make some really good beers. Uh, certified independent, uh, product of Australia. Let's get it out. It's 35 IBUs as well. So let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. I was ex half expecting it to look kind of like cherry red then. But no, it's definitely jet black. Look at this. Now we got a one to two finger tan colored head. It looks wonderful in the glass. Jet black looking beer in the glass. Great head retention on the beer. You can see with that 6.5% ABV, you can see that you've got good body on the beer. You can see if I rock the beer slowly back and forth, you can see there's a slight chase with the carbonation, chasing the head of the glass. <clears throat> I'll be able to show you that much better later on in the video when I drink some of the beer. I can really kind of rock it back and forth and show you. <clears throat> but yeah, here we are. This is it. Slow moving carbonation rising up the side of the glass. Let's get the aroma on this beer then. Oh. It's smelling like a dessert stout. It's definitely got that kind of sweet element coming through. Oh, but you're also picking up loads of roasted malt. Loads of chocolate, coffee, caramel, a little bit of coconut. That cherry as well, that cherry flavour coming through is just wonderful. It's only subtle. It's not overly done. It's not overly kind of crazy. That smells amazing. Gonna dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Mm. Oh. The body, the body, the body. Who's saying that? Who said that? Mick, wasn't it? Mick said that. The body, the body, Rocky too. Oh my goodness me. The body on this beer is just to die for. It really is. Oh. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a beer. What a beer. Oh, I was slightly worried. I'm going to admit. I've got another can there for Mel. She's going to love that. Absolutely love that. Trav from Australia sent two cans. One for me, one for Mel. There it is. She's going to love it. I'm going to get it to review this one. I was slightly worried. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about just now. The reason why I was slightly worried was um, Black Forest Stout. My worry was that it was going to be too berry-like. If you've drank many a stout before, you're probably nodding your head already, that sometimes a stout can go too far, too far from being... A stout into into some strange berry like thin watery mess. And that was my worry. I can forget all of my worries. 
because this is just incredible. The amount of body on the beer, the way the beer sticks to the inside of the mouth, slowly kind of gloops down into you. It's like engine oil. It's like engine oil. Oh. And the cherry, the cherry is subtle. They put, I can't believe how many cherries they are, how many kilograms of cherries they put in. I'll read the side of the can in a minute, but it's, it's quite subtle. And I like that. I want it to be a stout first. I don't want it to be a cherry beer first, then a stout after. This is very much a stout with a little tickle of cherry. And, and that's the essence of great brewing. Great brewing. When, yes, you can, you can blaze the can with cherries and chocolate and people with, 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 with cake on their face and all of these wonderful things. You can do that. But make sure you got that base beer right first. And they've absolutely nailed that. They really have. They've got that base stout perfect with a little tickle of cherry over there. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So what am I getting? Chocolate, coffee, caramel. It's like a milk stout. It's drinking like a, a really, really good milk stout. Chocolate, coffee, caramel flavours. Again, great body. Great body to the beer. Great drinkability. Oh, one of... I know it's only early. I know we're only in 20, uh, February 2022. But this could be one of the greatest stouts of the year. Already in February. I was going to tell you about... Or show you the rolling round of the beer in the glass. There you go. Have a look at this now. Look at that quality. Absolute quality. Um, I knew it was going to be a good beer. I didn't realise how good it was going to be because Trav sent two cans. He must have had it himself and he must love it. Amazing, amazing. Right, right, let's read the side of the can then. The biggest ever Black Forest cake weighed 3,000 kilograms. Packed to the broom with sour cherries, cacao and a whole lot of love. Just like this stout. Right, so they haven't put 3,000 kilograms of cherries in. I was reading, I was just kind of cherry picking, haha, <laughs> cherry picking the word off the side of the can. So yeah, um, they, put, they put a lot of cherries in there. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm going to rate it. Going to rate this one. Um, could very well be my stout of 2022 already. It's got a great ABV, 6.5% ABV. Great drinkability. I could drink two or three cans of this. I'd be a right mess, but I could easily drink two or three cans of this. Amazing. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.